Welcome back. Today we're going to be installing PHP manually. This is actually quite straightforward, but it's easy for me to say that once you know how to do it. So what I'm going to do is go from no PHP on the computer all the way through to actually running a quick local host. So as you can see, what we've got here is a PHP 7.4.8. That is the latest version as is today. And we can just want to go ahead and download the thread safe version. If you want an older version, scroll down 7.3 and so on 7.2 depending on when you're watching this video more modern versions will be available so i've just gone ahead and downloaded the thread safe version which is already down here i'm going to click into that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up windows explorer at the same time so i've got windows explorer on my right i'm going to click on pc c drive i'm going to create a new folder called php then within there what i'm going to do is create another folder called php 7.4.8 the reason I'm doing this is because I might actually want more modern versions of PHP in future so if I wanted on this particular computer if I wanted like PHP 6.7 or whatever I would create another um, folder in here and then I can have two different versions running um, but as it stands like I said no PHP on this computer at the moment so I'm going to go into there and then I'm going to drag all of my files from what from over here into my PHP 7.4.8 so I can go ahead and close off the download. What I want to do is scroll down to the very bottom and you can see php.ini hyphen development. Copy and paste that. And I just want to rename the, our new copy to php.ini. Are you sure you want to change the file name? Yes, I'm sure. Then I want to open it with anything. I'm just going to open it with a notepad. You could open it with Visual Studio, it's fine. And I want to search for extensions. If I can spell it, extension, extensions underscore there. What, what we need to do in here, first of all, we need to uncomment it, but we need to put the path to our PHP file. So I'm going to go back to our folder, C drive, PHP, PHP 7.4.8, and I'm just going to paste that in there. Then I'm going to save that file, and then I'm going to close it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my Windows key and type control panel, and I'm going to search for variable. Once I'm there, I've got edit system environment variables. So I'm going to click on edit and it just defaults for me to advance. It may default to you to a computer name, but it just defaults to me to advance. I'm going to click on environment variables. I'm going to go to path on system variables, which is right there. Click on edit and I'm going to create a new one, which is our path to our file. So let's just create a new one and paste. So um, C drive, PHP, PHP 7.4.8. Fantastic. Now, when I was testing this a minute ago, what I did have was some issues, and so I'm just going to create a user variable as well. Now, the one or the other should be enough to suffice, but for some reason I had some issues. You may actually come against uh, across those issues as well. So I'm just going to leave it in there. There's no harm in it being in both of them. So I'm going to click OK, OK, and then what I need to do is I need to run Command Prompt in Administrator mode. So I'm just going to click on my Windows, type CMD right click on my command prompt and click run as administrator that's just asking me do you actually want to run an administrator and i do so now what i want to do is come over to my window type php hyphen v for php version and as you can see we have got php 7.4.8 so now what we can do is we can create a test folder and let's just create this in documents uh, tech team i have nothing in this folder so i'm going to say um, new folder call this um, 01 testing or oh, let's say setup 01 setup then I'm going to change directory to this location so we're currently in C drive users Chris documents tech team 01 setup I'm going to let's just open this up with official studio create a quick file and call this index.php say hello save that then what i want to do is close you off i save i want to run a local host so i'm going to do php hyphen s local host give it a port so 3200 then i can navigate to local host 3200 and i get a hello if i come over back to our index and change that to hello with some exclamation marks and refresh this page we get hello some exclamation marks so now we have got our php installed locally on our computer and we are running a a local host that we can render some php files so i hope that makes sense we've gone from literally having nothing on our computer downloading it configuring it and installing it um, and 
and now we've, we're running localhost. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. But until next time, take it easy.